Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my highly requested full face of Fenty Beauty. So I'm really excited to actually ask you guys on Instagram to let me know if you guys wanted to see Fenty Beauty or KKW Beauty full face of makeup. And so many of you guys said Fenty Beauty, which I wasn't shocked about. I'm so excited. I love me some Fenty Beauty. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is start with our foundation. So I've been raving about the hydrating version of the Pro Filter Foundation. Um, you guys know that they do have the original, which is a matte one, and then they have this hydrating one, which this one is like my favorite. Such good foundation. I mentioned this in my top foundations um, slash bases for the summertime. This is just so good. So this is the shade 300 and we are gonna pop some on our face so that we can start to look a little bit more better. And we're gonna be using this sponge. So this is the Precision Makeup Sponge and you can use it pretty much for everything and anything. So I'm excited because I've never used a Fenty sponge. So I'm gonna just take some and start dabbing it on the face just build up this foundation lays so nicely on the skin which you guys can see it just has a really pretty i want to say medium to full coverage because you can definitely build up to super full coverage if you want to but also for my people that may not like that super full coverage finish you can still get a good medium coverage and have it still look absolutely fabulous um and I just think it looks beautiful. I also feel like this one looks a little bit more skin-like than the original matte one. That's why I really gravitate towards this version a little bit more, even though I do have very oily skin. But you guys can see, like, do you see this? This is like beautiful skin. And um, I feel like a lot of us kind of use Fenty as a shade reference now. So like I mentioned, I feel like I mentioned it probably twice already, but I am the shade 300 and I feel like this is honestly my perfect match. That's one of the things that I love about Fenty Beauty is that when they came into the beauty industry, Rihanna was not playing. She offered shades for everybody. Highly recommend if you haven't checked out the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. It is so good and I love this packaging. Just very like carry on, on the go friendly for anybody. I have to say the sponge is pretty good. I like the fact that it didn't absorb too much of the makeup off my face. I feel like it gave me a really healthy finish, um, which I definitely appreciate. And I think it looks really good right now. Um, I think it's cool that it has like this flat end because you can go and carve your cheeks with some powder if you want to. For the eyes, I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm going to go ahead and use the Baijan Gal bronzer, which this bronzer I already have in my collection. I'm obsessed with it. If I can open it with these, here we go. These long nails sometimes make things hard for me, but we got through it. So I'm gonna be taking a little bit of this powder bronzer, which I use all the time. You guys watch my videos, you guys know I'm like obsessed with that bronzer. So I'm just gonna be placing it all over my eye. Now Fenty Beauty came out with these beautiful mini palettes, which are so stunning. Um, and I was thinking about purchasing one, but I held off just because with lash extensions, I kind of like to do a little bit of a softer look. Um, running just one color all over my lids and I also wanted to actually play with another type of product Which I'm about to share with you guys in just a second, but I did want to apply a little something on the eyes and I figured Let's say you don't have an eyeshadow palette You can never go wrong with using a little bit of bronzer to kind of like spice the look up Especially I feel like during the summer you don't need much eyeshadow to like really make your eyes pop and I'm gonna be taking eyeliner. So I purchased a fun liner. This one I purchased in Lady Lagoon, and this is like a pretty blue. And these are the Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Liner. It's like a big crayon. It's creamy color and it's smudge resistant, water resistant. Um, and it's supposed to be like a dream come true. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a little wing with a blue liner. So. Oh my gosh, this is so creamy. That is literally the most pigmented liner ever. Wow, this is so pigmented, so creamy. Literally, like you guys saw how easily and smooth that went through. That eyeliner is 
stunning. I am so impressed. I knew it was gonna be good, but I didn't think it was gonna be this good. And you can take it all the way in. I just, like I mentioned, because of my lashes, I'd rather just kind of leave it halfway. If you're somebody that loves like the traditional black liner, especially to put it like on your waterline, or you like to use a crayon like pencil liner um, to do your top liner, highly recommend the fly liners. They are so good. They are legit fly. Like. This is amazing and I'm sure like for people that like the classic black liner, you will fall in love with this because the pigmentation on these is absolutely incredible. Literally, it's absolutely incredible. The only thing I will say about these is that with these, because it is a little bit chunkier of a pencil it's not like really fine and precise um you may have to go in and clean up or just be very light-handed when you go in because i feel like with this specific one you can definitely have a little bit of a thicker liner moment than expected if you're super harsh and strong with it like you can see like it literally just takes my look to the next level this is amazing like really amazing. Okay, now we can move on to our Fenty Beauty Concealer, which this is great stuff. I've actually also been using this one a lot um, because I feel like this is very lightweight, hydrating, but it's super nice and full coverage. So I'm just gonna be placing this underneath. And I like brightening concealer, which is why it looks like this. Um, this one is in the shade 260. When these concealers launched, I actually went in store on the other side for this. Um, I went in store and I asked them to help me like pick the perfect concealer and they told me, well, first they asked me in Sephora um, what my foundation color was for Fenty Beauty and I said shade 300, so they paired me to 260. Um, so I find that 260 for me is like actually perfect. Ooh, I went a little too low with it. So you guys know that I've been using the Tati Blendiful for concealer because I like the coverage that it gives me. But using the flat side on this Fenty Beauty sponge is actually really, really nice. Okay, so I have to say personally for me, which I know you guys are probably gonna ask, um, I didn't use the Fenty Beauty um, powder. I felt like it didn't work for me the best. I'm gonna have to give it another try. Maybe I got the wrong color. Maybe it's just like my skin was different back then. I think these came out like maybe two years ago or like a one and a half year ago. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I wasn't that big of a fan of the powder. I really liked the concealer. The concealer was great and obviously I still use it. But the powder I wasn't like the biggest fan of. So I'm gonna have to give it another try and see how that works again for me because I probably will change my mind because you guys know Fenty just comes out with amazing products. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is we're gonna take bronzer first. So I know a lot of you guys were excited for me to talk about the bronzers. So here we go. I purchased this one in, if I can take it out, there we go. In the color Macchiato. And this one is the cream one. Oh, I love it. I just got my dirty fingers all over the beautiful packaging. But this is the original powder, and this is the cream, so you guys can see that there's a difference. So like when they're on your vanity, you can tell which one's which. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my brush. I should probably get the Fenty brush for this. You guys, makeup is expensive though. Like, if I were to get the brush, and I were to get like, you know, all the things that I would have gotten, it would have been like, what? Like $400? Like makeup is expensive. Even with the stuff that I bought on Fenty Beauty's website, it was still a lot, you know? So you gotta really budget. Prioritize what you really need. Which is why I like doing these reviews for you guys because I can recommend you like what I think is worth checking out. I like these, I feel like this, bronzer is just very soft and natural and i think that's exactly the vibe that i'm going for is i want something soft i don't want it to look too like intense too like done up um so i like it and i feel like the color macchiato definitely suits my complexion um it looks really nice i like soft bronzer not like too harsh because obviously i don't want to get like too much of a helmet head i just want to keep it like a natural snatch um, and now I'm gonna be taking a little bit of the cream 
product and just putting it in the area to contour my nose just a touch so that is that now we can go in with the blush i got the blush in strawberry drip they're just so many colors that it's overwhelming i was like okay which one do i really want you know okay so this is how small it is let's compare it to the big bronzers well the regular size bronzers you guys can see but this looks beautiful I'm excited for this, really, really excited. So actually, let me take my fingers. It's like a balmy consistency. You can even use this on your lips or you could also use this like all over your lid. Yeah, let me actually just use my fingers because I feel like fingers can be your best friend sometimes. So no brush today, just fingers. That actually looks really nice. It adds like the perfect amount of like rosy cheeks yes i would say your best bet for this cream blush is to just use your fingers they will literally be your best friend um i think that even if you wanted to apply a little bit of this blush like all over the lid it will look beautiful with this liner like it would be like a dream i personally really like this vibe i've been really into creamy products this year i don't know what it's been but like i've been more into like using my fingers to apply blushes and stuff like that so like for me this is really nice and i feel like this strawberry drip color is so beautiful it's definitely a perfect like spring summer shade now for our highlight moment i decided to pick up these match sticks these are the highlight bronze and enhance longwear light as air layering um, match sticks and these are the mini ones in cinnamon and starstruck so Let's whip these babies out. We have this one. This is really pretty. Very nice and shimmery. Um, and that one is Starstruck. And then Cinnamon is a little bit more of like a bronzy, darker moment. Ooh, that will look really pretty on the lid. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing. There we go. Okay, so at the top we have Starstruck, which is that like pearlesque shade. And then we have that Cinnamon, which is a really pretty brown shade, which you know what? I'm about to put a little bit of this color on my lid. So let me go ahead and take my finger and just, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. So with these, you can literally place them anywhere you want, whether it's like as a highlight or whether you want to add this on top of a bronzer to kind of give it like that glowy, shimmery um, bronzer topper. I think this would be beautiful as well, but you could even place this like on your lids or also you can maybe place this like on top of a lip, like especially if you have a matte lip, because you guys know that um, Fenty Beauty has their liquid matte lipsticks, which um, you can definitely go over those to add a little bit of dimension with a shimmer like this. I'm really obsessed with the eye makeup today. Um, and now I'm gonna be taking the other matchstick in Starstruck and I'm gonna be using a different finger and I'm just gonna be taking a little bit of this and just popping it. The high points of the face. It is a little bit more icy than I would hope for my complexion, like as a highlighter. I also had Trophy Wife. I love that highlighter, but I cannot find it. I need to go through my makeup again. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to lips. So we have here the Fenty Beauty Slip Shines. I keep saying lip shines, they're slip shines. Um, and we have three different colors. So these lip shines are supposed to be a very nice sheer lip product, um, like a balmy consistency. It does have a little bit of a tint, but it's very, very natural. Um, so I'm gonna just open all of them because I did purchase three of them. I think they have like maybe nine of them that they came out with, but these are the ones that intrigue me the most that are like, you know, up my alley, wearable shades. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It looks similar to the other packaging that they do have for the others. So the first one I'm gonna start off with, he's in cream, which I kind of messed up, but it's okay. Wow. I love it. So you guys can see, these are very, very natural. It's like a subtle pigment, something that just looks perfect for every day. For my more natural people, you're going to love this. I have to say, it feels so comfortable on the lips. Like, it feels really good. So this one is Cookies and Cream. 
I'm so happy that these easily come off because it's not like I'm having to like really scrub the product off my lips. The next one is Goji Gang, which is the one that I said I felt like was gonna be like that perfect, looks like your lip, but better color. Yeah, this is the one that like just looks like your lip, but better. And the last one is Glaze, which this one is that pinky nude that I would definitely probably pair with a warmer um, lip liner just to kind of give me that more like nice, like dimensional finish. Oh, yes. That is so pretty. I think that this one, like in this slip shine family, this nude is like the perfect nude if you're around my complexion um, to like flatter you and not make you look like, whoa, like it looks too intense on me. I think I'm gonna go in with Cookies and Cream, the darkest one, just because even though it's the darkest one, these are more so on the like sheer side. So like, it doesn't look like there's too much going on with the eyes and everything. I like the color that I have on right now, but I feel like this is typically something that I would normally go for. And I'm really trying hard to kind of like step out of my comfort zone when I film videos for you guys so that we're not always repetitive with what we put on the lips. So this one's glazed, beautiful. They're all beautiful. And I would say that if you're like me and you kind of like more so those neutrals, those wearable shades, um, then I would definitely recommend checking out these specific ones. This is a Makeup Forever lip liner. This one is in Versatile Chestnut. I can't wait for Fenty Beauty to come out with lip liners because I know they're gonna do that. In case you guys are like, that's not one brand. I know, I'm sorry. They just don't have lip liners yet, but when they do, I'll be one of the first to check them out. So I'm gonna take the cookies and cream. I love the pigmentation of this slip shine. It is so lovely. Okay guys, so this is the completed face of all Fenty Beauty products. I am obsessed obsessed with how this turned out. I just want to do something that will pop, be a statement, and be re-re-approved. So I hope that this is Fenty Beauty re-re-approved because, I mean, they did the damn thing with these products. Everything was really good. Like all the new products that they just came out with, the cream bronzers, the cream blushes, um, the slip shines, the um, liners, like they are incredible. Really, really recommend them if you're on the hunt for some new products check out Fenty Beauty's website or you can go on Sephora.com. So I will definitely be purchasing some more products, definitely a lot more liners because that was a good experience. Like this wing is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching my Fenty Beauty one brand tutorial. Helps me out. Also let me know what one brand tutorial you would like to see next. I've been thinking about Glossier. I know that a lot of people have been loving Glossier, so I kind of want to try them out for myself. And if you guys are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Jessica, and I make videos on all things beauty. I would love for you to become a member of me here on YouTube because I wouldn't want you guys to miss these amazing beauty videos that I bring to YouTube. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that notification bell because that notification bell will make sure that you are notified as soon as I drop a new video and you won't want to miss any of my fun stuff on this channel. So. Thank you again for watching. I'll be seeing you guys very soon. Stay blessed, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I'll be seeing you guys for my next one. Bye guys.